hey guys and welcome back to my channel so i am doing a quick weekend energy reading this may not apply to everyone or may not resonate with everyone because it is general energy but if it does resonate with you then you know just take the messages as they apply and if you hear me shuffling it's because when i shuffle my tarot cards my messages do come through more clearly but i will try to keep my shuffling down to a minimum because i know it can be it can be somewhat distracting so I see that a lot of you are coming out of a time period of being hurt in some way, shape or form, some type of emotional pain having to do with a family situation or if not a family situation, something that at one point was making you feel very happy and fulfilled. And because this 10 of cups is in the up right now, I'm seeing that it's no longer making you feel happy and fulfilled. So obviously that ending has brought some type of emotional pain onto you. But because this Three of Swords is in the reverse also, I'm seeing that you are com coming out of that energy. So that's a good thing. Or you are trying to come out of that energy. You're trying to leave the situation behind you. I feel like this is an energy that you have been stuck in for a while, that you've been trying to release or let go. And I feel like now it's some type of energy shift taking place within you where you're feeling like you have the strength to move forward now in a way that before you felt like you didn't have the strength to. I feel like you wrapped up a lot of your happiness in whatever the situation was, whether it's a person, um, it could be some type of anything, really, a career situation. But I'm getting a strong, like, love energy. I don't know why all my readings always end up being love readings <laughs> for some reason. I'm always picking up on people's heart space so easily. But yeah, I am having a feeling that this is some type of um, love energy. For a while, like I said, you were in this low vibrational state and your energy was very low because you just could not pull yourself out of this heartache or this energy of heartache. And now you are taking on the role of the magician um, with the magician card being here, being the first card out. And you now have the strength, like I said, to move forward and to manifest something new into your life. And you're having like the confidence to do so now. And I feel like through whatever the situation was, it actually taught you so much about yourself that now you are going to be able to step on to a new path and really create a life for yourself that before the situation happened, you would not have been able to create. So despite the fact that you could have been through a lot of pain with whatever the situation was, it was something that was very necessary because now it has given you all the tools that you need to step into the life that you want to create for yourself. And I'm seeing here that without that pain, there would not have been this growth within you. With the moon card clarifying the magician card, I'm seeing that Whatever the situation was, it has unlocked something within you, some type of hidden talents, some type of something within yourself that you really had no clue was there. It was like within you, but it was dormant. It could be some type of psychic abilities with the moon card that was unlocked during this painful situation, or it could just be some type of a talent that you discovered through this pain. Or it could be that this situation broke you down so much that in order for you to move forward, you had to really start from scratch and fully build yourself back up. And in doing so, the strength that that required has turned you into a whole new person. Like you unlocked some type of strength within yourself that you never knew that you had. I'm also seeing that this situation could have made you very much closer to God or the divine, whatever you believe in. It's kind of like now you are aware of how much you can lean on and depend on God to get you through these situations. Because I feel like through the situation, because there was so much pain, like you felt like you did not have the strength to get through it alone. And you may have really started to lean on God or lean on the divine, you know, whatever you believe in. And now you can fully see that with God, with the divine, like I said, whatever you believe in, <laughs> that you can get through anything. And that type of confidence that you have now adopted within yourself is going to push you onto this path and onto like and into the stage in your life where you literally can manifest anything that you want out of life and nothing's gonna be able to stop you. So I'm saying that this situation sort of made you fearless because you felt like you have been through the worst type of pain you could experience and you survived it. And so now you're kind of just like, okay, what's next? Like I'm ready for whatever else, you know, comes in my path and you know that you can overcome it. Yeah, I'm seeing a definite transformation here. You know how like in the movies, when the moon comes out, a person transforms from like a person into like a werewolf. That's kind of what I'm seeing in my head. Like there's some type of drastic transformation that took place during this situation um we did just have the sagittarius full moon so that could have something to do with it like that could be the energy shift that is pushing you onto like your path and giving you the strength to move forward as well if you were dealing with a scorpio or someone who has heavy scorpio in their chart this person was definitely brought into your life 
specifically to help you with this transformation. Like it's something that could not have been avoided. It's like you cross paths because you needed whatever this lesson was that you learned. You needed this soul growth. You needed this evolution through this person. So if this person took you through hell, like I'm seeing like this person may have taken you through a lot. If there's someone with a Scorpio energy or someone you met in Scorpio season, there's something to do with a Scorpio here that this growth was like inevitable, like this, this situation was inevitable, it had to happen. So even though you are trying to come out of this, this pain, like this heartache that you endured, it still does keep you up at night, I'm seeing with this Nine of Swords. You could be having dreams about it, and those dreams could pull you right back into that energy. It's like you think you're making progress, and then you have a dream about it, and then you feel like you're being pulled right back. But I'm seeing here not to worry about that, because that's also serving a purpose. Like, it's being cleared out of your subconscious mind. So that's why it's manifesting within your dreams, because it's being cleared from your mind. It's like these things have to come up to the surface in, er in order to be purged from your mind. Some of you are needing to adopt a nighttime routine, like a relaxing nighttime routine. Because even though for some of you, it's like, these situations are coming up in your dreams because they need to be purged from you. It's some of you where you're thinking so much about the situation for, before bed. That's why it's popping up in your dreams and like tormenting you. So make sure that like if that's happening where you just feel like you are restless and that you can't stop thinking about the situation before bed, try to adopt some type of nighttime routine, some type of meditation routine or something like relaxing and calming, like read a book, turn off your phone. Don't be on social media. I'm seeing like right before bed because that could be playing a role in like your thoughts spiraling, like don't text too late before bed. I don't know why these messages are coming through like this, but it's, it's basically saying that you are in a time where you have to really protect your energy. So be mindful of what you're speaking on and what you're thinking about before you go to bed is what I'm seeing. Also be mindful of what you eat before bed as well, I'm seeing. Then with this devil card, I feel like you are coming to the awareness that the situation is toxic or was toxic. And that's why you are trying to really move past it because you know that it carries some type of toxic energy and some of you could still feel bound to that energy. So it's like you are having this energy shift which you, where you are moving forward from it, but you still feel chained and shackled to it energetically. And I'm going to pull advice cards for that. But I feel like you're just now coming to the realization of how toxic this is because while you were in the situation, I feel like you couldn't fully see like you knew it was toxic while you were in it but now that you're out of it you're like fully seeing like the extent of how toxic it was and how badly it needed to end but again with this devil card being here i feel like this is something that you are going to overcome it's just something that has to be purged because you didn't fully grasp the weight of it when you were in it so now that you're out of it now you can fully grasp what's going on and you can fully purge that energy out of your system you see this is crazy because I just pulled three advice cards and the advice cards came out the same exact cards that they came out before because I meditated before I actually did the spread and I pulled some cards just to see general energy and the same exact advice cards came out, same exact cards. So we have the five of wands in reverse, the four of wands in reverse, and then the 10 of wands in the upright. So this was some type of situation with someone that you have a family with or someone you considered family someone you wanted to have a family with. It's someone who you were very deeply connected to, like on a soul level, very, very deeply connected to, could have been a soulmate situation. Because all of this energy is in the reverse, like you are aware that the situation is over, you're coming to terms with the fact that it is over. And a part of you is somewhat relieved that you no longer have to take part in this conflict because I feel like there was a lot of fighting. There was a lot of inner conflict as well. And because this inner conflict I'm saying with the cards are coming up between the moon and the magician, I feel like your shadow side may have came to the surface. You may have really saw a part of yourself that you never saw before. Like this could have brought out like a very dark side of you. You don't need to beat yourself up over that because that was meant to come out of you because all of this is setting you up for the energy of this magician card. And the magician card is someone who is able to literally manifest whatever they want to manifest into their lives because they have mastered their energy. Like they have been through some serious situations that have really tested them and have really like broken them down and they have been able to pick themselves up and like really build themselves up again from these situations. And because of this, because you have been through all these trials and tribulations, you're now being put onto this path where you can manifest anything that you want and nothing can stand in your way because you've already been through the worst of the worst. It's like you have been through some type of initiation stage in your life where you're going through all this pain to set you up for like the greatest part of your life. You are coming out of this conflict now and out of this inner conflict. And because of this, you are going to be able to fully focus on what you want in life and turn your t attention away from all the negativity and the things that you don't want. And a part of this has to do with your energy being purged and cleared. You had a lot of negative energy stuck 
within your org field I'm seeing, like within your energetic field, that you may not have even realized was there, but it was definitely there I'm seeing. And because you had all this negative energy stuck within you, you were manifesting a lot of negative situations into your life. I do have videos on the subconscious mind. I don't know if I mentioned this in the videos though, but you do manifest from your subconscious mind. So with your subconscious mind, it's programmed by your family, your parents. Like I said, I have a video on this between the ages of zero and seven. Basically you have no say so over who you become as a person because your parents are the ones who program that into you. So if your parents did not have self love within themselves and they did not feel worthy of love, then they programmed you the exact same way. Even if they did not realize what they were doing. You grow up from that situation having a lot of stuck negative energy and you constantly manifest people into your life who prove to you that you are not worthy of love. So you will manifest people into your life who don't treat you well, who do abuse you emotionally or sometimes even physically I'm seeing um, with this five of wands card. It's like really attracting situations to your life. And, and that's not to say that you deserved any of this because this is not to say like, oh, you're not the victim, you attracted this, not at all. It's just to say that when you don't know your own worth and when you have been programmed from birth to not think highly of yourself, of course you're going to be attracted to people who treat you badly. Like it's natural that that's going to happen. And I'm seeing here that you are now coming to the realization of these patterns. You're now understanding these patterns and you are now wanting to fully change yourself and move on to this new path and to actually live your life in a healthy, abundant way. And the only reason that this is able to take place is because of all the things that you have been through, this energy is being purged out of you with whatever this last situation was. You needed to actually sit and cleanse yourself of this energy. So that involved a lot of like crying, a lot of emotional release, a lot of pain just coming to the surface. And now you're gonna be able to manifest a lot of positivity into your life. And you're, like I said, you're coming out of this state of conflict with other people and within yourself. So now you're going to appreciate peace. You're going to want peace and harmony within your life. And in the past, you may not have wanted that. You may have been very much used to dysfunction. You may have been very much used to chaos. And now you are seeing the benefits of peace and you are now understanding the importance of having a peaceful environment. And now you're going to move forward and protect your energy much better than you have before. So this has all been a learning experience. So with the four of wands being in the uh, in the reverse, I'm seeing that you do need to kind of take your time with this healing. Like I understand that you are ready to come out of this state of heartbreak because you just feel like it's been lingering too long. You feel like it's on your nerves, like it's a distraction. You want to move on with your life. But it's saying that you need to be mindful of the fact that you did lose something that is important to you. Whatever the situation was that needed to be released, it was something that was important to you. And you do need to mourn it. So you don't need to, you know, rush through this healing process, kind of take your time. Treat it like you would treat like a physical wound. Like if, you know, you broke your arm or you broke your leg, you would not just like rip your cast off like before it was time. So don't try to do that with your emotional wounds either. Like take your time in healing. Don't dwell in it for too long, but also don't try to move past it too quickly. Cause I, I'm seeing that that's just not, like that's not gonna work out for your benefit. Just take your time and give yourself compassion in order to get past this. And also understand that you're not only mourning the loss of a situation, whatever the situation was, you're also mourning the loss of your old self. Because once you go through a situation like this, where is this much pain involved, you come out the other side a completely different person. And even though that's a good thing, that's a positive thing, because you need to come out the other side a different person, you need to change and grow, it's still something that you kind of need to mourn because... You're so used to being one way and now like you're completely different. And so you kind of are mourning the loss of your old self. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And also for a lot of you who are now coming to the realization about your patterns when it comes to relationships or when it comes to friendships or anything in your life, like you're now realizing that these patterns stems from family. Like you're realizing just how dysfunctional your family might have been and the fact that, you know, they're the ones who programmed you this way. They're the ones who kind of taught you this destructive behavior. You see what I'm saying? And you are realizing this and you are having to kind of mourn the loss of your family as well. And that's not to say that you have to cut your family off completely or that you're making the decision to cut them off, but you are seeing them in a different light. And it's saying that honor that as well. Honor the fact that you need to grieve that and mourn that as well, because it is very shocking to your system. I know that when I was coming to these realizations, and I don't know, I'm being guided to tell you this, when I was coming to these realizations about my own family, I know that a large part of my mourning and grieving process was just sitting and feeling the emotions that um, that, are t uh, that are attached to thinking back on your, your childhood and thinking back on yourself as a child and realizing how bad you were treated. And um, that can be kind of tough to sit and think that you were treated so badly when you were helpless. 
So that may be something that's running through um, some of your minds as well. Honor that, honor all of those feelings and let them come, let them come to the surface and feel all of them and don't try to suppress them or think them away. So I'm seeing here with this 10 of wands that you are ready and willing to put in the work to get past whatever the situation is and it's going to take work. It's not going to be something that's easy per se, something that you're just gonna wake up tomorrow and be like, okay, I'm over this. Yeah, I, you know, I learned my lessons. It's something that's gonna take work to get out of and you have to be dedicated to doing this work. So as much energy and effort that you have put into these past situations, it's saying that you now need to put that amount of energy and effort into yourself. You need to be fully dedicated to your healing work, to moving forward with your life and to, to building yourself back up and pretty much starting over on this new path. Like it's going to take worth work, but you have to know that you are worth it. You have to know that you are worth this amount of work. And to really sit and understand and realize that so many people in life have given up on you and have made you feel like you are not worth it, that you are not worth them trying, that you are not worth the effort. And it's saying that now is your chance to show yourself that you are worth it and that you are worth the effort. Despite the fact that people from your past may not have seen it in you, it's now time for you to see that within yourself. And for the future outcome cards, I got the Ace of Wands, the Justice card, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. So if you have been betrayed in, in any way, shape, or form, someone has stabbed you in the back or anything like that, don't wait around to see them get their karma, I'm seeing, because you may never see it. I'm seeing like some of you may feel so betrayed or so let down or stabbed in the back by whatever this situation was that you may actually want to see that person fall or you may want to just see that they are punished for what they've done which is a normal human reaction but i'm seeing that you should not wait around for that in order for you to move forward because sometimes you don't get to see the person get their karma like they can get their karma quite privately and keep it very private and you'll never know so if you are waiting around to see that karma take place or you're waiting for them to come back and somehow like give you some type of justice, maybe by apologizing, like you maybe want them to, to like come back and just show remorse. You just may be wanting your justice. You want to feel like whatever you went through, that there was some type of, you know, karmic justice to balance things out. And I'm seeing that it is going to be balanced out, but it may not be in the way that you think it's going to be balanced out. It's gonna be balanced out by this new path that you are being ready to be pushed on. Because I'm saying like with this Ace of Wands energy, the universe is pretty much handing you a new opportunity. And this new opportunity won't come in the form of like, oh, here's a new job or here's a new partner. It's like an energetic opportunity. You're just randomly going to feel this shift of energy. You could be feeling it right now. It's gonna be this shift of energy. And if you choose to take that energy, grab onto it and move forward, you're going to be like catapulted onto your path. You're gonna be pushed very far forward onto your path. I'm seeing like some type of rapid healing taking place here. So in your mind, you may, may be thinking like, oh my God, this is gonna take years for me to get past. It's gonna be years of work for me to like get back on my feet. But I'm seeing here that that's not the case. That because you have been on the, the good side, I guess you could say of karma, that you have had good intentions, that you have been trying your best and that your intentions have been pure, you have the universe's favor. So whatever this energy shift is that you're feeling, like if you feel an energetic shift, take it and run with it. Don't get stuck in the past. Don't look back at the past. Don't look at whatever this situation was, this person was, these people were. Like don't look back trying to see them get their karma. See what I'm saying? Take the energy that's being given to you and catapult yourself forward and move forward, focus on yourself and your healing and do your work and you are going to be rewarded for it and you are going to get justice through the situation even if it's like i said a way that you did not expect to get justice the scales are going to be balanced out okay so as soon as i turned my recorder off when i was done with the reading a couple of more messages came through so if the audio sounds a little bit different on this part that's why it's because i had to turn it off and then turn it back on so the additional messages that came through is that some of you are wanting to actually move away from your home like there's some conflict going on within your home environment and you are wanting to move away from it and you're wondering if you should or you're having a hard time doing so and the cards are basically saying that you definitely should move away from whatever the situation is because there's a lot of chaos going on within a home environment i'm seeing especially if there are kids involved and there are kids in the house it's really affecting them energetically 
um, just as well as it's affecting you, it's really more so affecting them. But if there are no kids in the house involved, it's just your energy that's being polluted mostly, and you need to move away from it. And I'm saying that it won't be like an easy move. Like it's not something that you can up and just go. You might need to work or save up or something. Something is blocking the way of you moving, but you're gonna have to push through whatever that obstacle is and just get up and go. Even if it means that you have to leave some items behind or you have to leave something behind within this home I'm seeing like you still have to find a way to get away from it and I'm seeing that like the energy circulating in this house like I don't want to scare anyone okay I'm trying to like watch my words here the energy circulating in this house is it's deeper than you may realize like you may know that you're being affected negatively like you know that there's a lot of arguments and things like that but below the surface I'm trying to watch my words here Below the surface, it's some very dark energy. I'm going to put it that way. If there has been, like, a lot of negativity in that house, a lot of, like, traumatic events or, like, things that have just been very, um, very, like, energetically charged. Like, if you've had, like, a lot of explosive arguments in that house, it's creating some type of very dark energy. Or it has created some type of very dark energy that's circulating. And that could be the reason that if you're having like nightmares or you're going to sleep and you're feeling like you're being watched. I'm really not. <laughs> I'm trying not to scare anybody with this because it's, it's really nothing scary. It's like when you hold a negative thought for a very long time, that negative thought can take on a life of its own because thoughts are energy. So whenever you have like a highly emotionally charged situation that can create like a dark force or like a dark entity that can circulate and linger within whichever space that event took place. See what I'm saying? Like you know how when you're in a house or like when you are searching for a house and if they tell you like, oh, someone was murdered in this house, you wouldn't want to live in that house, right? Because subconsciously, like you know, even if you don't believe in ghosts or you say you don't believe in these type of things, you would never, like I said, live in a house that someone was killed in because you subconsciously know that energy gets left behind like that dark energy actually lingers and gets left behind and i'm feeling like because of these explosive arguments or whatever negativity took place in this house there's a lot of dark energy that's still lingering and if it wasn't you or like your situation that caused this it could it could have been the people who were living there before you but i'm just seeing like someone who is having a hard time sleeping someone who, who's having like nightmares and they don't really understand why and it's because of this whatever this dark energy is that's lingering within your household um so if you are feeling the need to move because of that go ahead and do so if it has nothing to do with dark energy and you just feel like you need to move in general go ahead and do so um and if you are not able to move at this time, you may need to cleanse your house. So you may need to um, buy sage. And that, okay, that's what I'm seeing in this card. Because it's this one, this ace of wands. I was just like, I'm seeing something else in this card, but I don't know what it is. Sage. You need to buy some type of sage or some type of cleansing. It's anything that cleanses the air and rids it of negative energy like Palo Santo or sage. Order it, buy it, burn it within your house to get rid of the negative energy. Make sure that you have like a window open or like a door open so that the negative energy can leave. Um, you may need to actually go and buy new sheets, go and buy new pillows, new pillowcases, anything to rid yourself of whatever this negative energy is. If you can go and buy some crystals like black obsidian or black tourmaline crystals, you can buy them and keep them underneath your pillow. And that should help you sleep more soundly and that should help you to rid yourself of this negative energy. And again, I hope I'm not scaring anyone, but like I said, this message came through to me um, right after I turned the my recorder off. So I just had to turn it back on and relay the messages to you because it could be important to someone. So yeah, that is the um, energy reading for the weekend. So like I said before, it's a general reading, so take whatever messages apply. If you would like to book a personal reading, I will leave the link down below. I do have some openings because I am finally caught up on my readings. I, like I said, I've been swamped with readings. I didn't really expect to get as many as I got. Like I didn't expect as many people to order as they did. So I really, really, truly appreciate everyone who has been ordering readings. And like I said, I will leave the link down below if you want a personal reading done. And again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.